Hi guys, it's Elena J. Ingle again, and I am super excited to be back with the next video in the series I've been doing of alternatives to the top 100 boy names of 2014 in the U.S., and this is my first video in the top 50 boy names now. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about names 50 through 46, and at 50 in the year 2014 was the name Aaron. Aaron is a Hebrew name that means high mountain. This is, of course, a biblical name. This was the brother of Moses in the Bible, and he was one of the people that helped lead all the Israelites to freedom out of Egypt. So the name Aaron is really special to me because I worked at a daycare the summer of 2011, and there was a boy there named Aaron who was basically like my child that summer, an elementary school age boy, and he would just beg me to be his mom every day, which of course broke my heart, and he was just so, so sweet and just a beautiful boy. This name has been in the top 100 boy names since 1968, and because it's been so popular for so long, that is almost 50 years, guys, um, there are tons of celebrities with this name. I think of Aaron Taylor Johnson, who is an actor who's my age, who's been in tons and tons of movies. There's also actor Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad, actor Aaron Eckhart, and there is also actor Aaron Tveit, who played Angel Ross in the Les Mis movie that came out a few years ago. As I mentioned earlier, this name has been in the top 100 boy names since 1968, and it's actually always been within the top 300 boy names in the U.S., so it is a very, very popular name. And I love names that end in Aaron. Obviously, I have a son named Theron, so Aaron is a gorgeous name to me, and even though I do think it's way too popular for a first name, I would really love to see it used as a middle name for a boy in 2015. My first Aaron alternative I have is Jaren. I love this name so much. Jaren is a Hebrew name that means singing. How amazing of a meaning is that? This name can also be pronounced Yaron or Jaron. And I always think of the duo from the 90s, Evan and Jaren. They were twin brothers who sang a few hit songs in the 90s. And I don't know, I'm pretty sure I might have had a crush on them sometime in elementary school. This name is shockingly underused for me. It's was in the top 1,000 boy names from 1976 through 2011, but has not been in the top 1,000 boy names since then. It's just, it has a perfect, easy sound that is similar to lots of popular names that people are loving right now and it's only five letters long i just would love to see this name used more and i could easily use it myself if i didn't already have a theron of course i think jaren makes a great aaron alternative because they're only one letter apart in their spelling and pronunciation and they're also both hebrew names my next aaron alternative i have is darren darren is a gaelic name that means great so obviously it has a wonderful meaning first person i think of with the name darren is the character from the show Bewitched, that was the love interest of Samantha in that show. And I think in 2015, a lot of people will think of Darren Chris, the actor from Glee. Another really great association for me personally is Darren McGavin, who played that grumpy, hilarious dad from the movie A Christmas Story. Also, Darren Hayes is the lead singer from the band Savage Gardens. Darren was ranked at 496 in 2014, so it is being used. It was in the top 100 boy names from the years 1965 through 1970, and it has been in the top 1,000 boy names since 1952. But I think it's at a really good in-between spot for popularity and is a great choice for a 2015 baby boy. My last alternative I have for Aaron is Aram or Aram. Aram is a Hebrew name that means high, so it has the same roots as the name Aaron, of course. Aram also has Armenian roots, and Aram was known in Armenia as one of the patriarchs or founders of the country of Aram. And there are several people with this name in the Bible, and it is a place name in the Bible as well. I think Aram will make a great Aaron alternative because they have a super similar sound, of course. At number 49 in the year 2014 was the name Eli. Eli is a Hebrew name that means ascension. Eli, I think, is definitely one of those names that people do not realize how popular it is. It's in the top 50 boy names, and for a good reason. It has a really strong, handsome sound for me anyway, and of course, it's super easy to spell. So this name in Hebrew or in Israel today would be pronounced Eli, believe it or not, and I do know a man from Israel through church whose name is spelled Eli Levi, but it's pronounced Eli Levi, so that's kind of fun. Eli was the name of a high priest in the Old Testament in the Bible, and I actually have a cousin named Eli. I'm first cousins with his dad. There are several famous people with this name as well, such as producer or director Eli Roth, Eli Manning, the football player, and Eli Whitney is somebody that most of you will probably learn about in school as the inventor of the cotton gin. I kind of love that combination, Eli Whitney. It's very cool to me. Eli has been in the top 100 boy names since 2008 and has always been in the top 1,000 boy names in the U.S. And my first Eli alternative I have is 
Ira. Ira is a Hebrew name that means watchful. Ira was the name of King David's priest in the Bible, and Ira was definitely a name that was used quite a bit during Puritan times, but not as much in 2015. This is also the name of an instrument, which I find very fascinating, and Ira Gershwin is one of the Gershwin brothers who were lyricists. They wrote Someone to Watch Over Me and lots of other popular songs from that time period. Ira was in the top 1,000 boy names all the way up through, through 1992, but has not been since then, so it is definitely due for a comeback. And I think Ira makes a great Eli alternative since they're both Old Testament names. They're both just three letters long. They both have that strong I sound in it. My next Eli alternative I have is Areli. This name can also be pronounced Areli or Areli. However, I think someone that likes the name Eli might like the Areli pronunciation, of course. This is a Hebrew name that means Lion of My God. When I first started doing this series, I realized a lot of the names I was picking as alternatives had lion related meanings but it's been a few videos since I mentioned a name that fit that category and so this is kind of exciting to see that lion of my god a really cool meaning in the bible Areli was one of the J grandsons of Jacob Areli is a super super rare name it is a name believe it or not that one of my sisters considered for her child when she was pregnant with the Areli pronunciation and of course I think someone that likes Eli might like a real eye because Eli can be a nickname for it and of course it has a very similar sound and my last Eli alternative I have is Elion which is a Dutch form of Elijah which means Jehovah is God now Elion is the typical pronunciation for this name but I do not think it would be a stretch at all to pronounce this a lion as well which would of course get you the nickname Eli so I am personally familiar with the name Elion because of the little Elian Gonzalez who was in a very very famous custody battle with his parents and family because one of them wanted him to live in Florida and one of them wanted him to live in Cuba and I do remember seeing that sweet little boy's face on the news a lot that was probably around 15 years ago. The popularity of the name Elian or Elian is very fascinating to me because Right now it's at 697, which is, you know, kind of in the middle for popularity, but it entered the top 1000 for the first time in the year 2000, which was the year that the whole controversy with Elian Gonzalez was going on. So it went from never being in the top 1000 boy names to entering at number 427 in the US, which is very, just like I said, fascinating for me. But of course, I think Elian or Elian could be a good Eli alternative because Eli could be a nickname for Elian. At number 48 in the year 2014, it was the name Isaiah or Isaiah, which is a Hebrew name that means salvation of the Lord. Isaiah Washington is an actor who is from Grey's Anatomy. And I personally know tons of Isaiahs. I do believe this is also a name that people do not realize how popular it is. And so they think, oh, it's an I name. It's a biblical name. People don't use those. Isaiah is being used quite a bit. Isaiah is the name of a biblical book and prophet, of course. And Isaiah Crowell is the running back for the Cleveland Browns. And Isaiah Mustafa is that hilarious actor from the Old Spice commercial. So that's, of course, a really cool association. The first Isaiah alternative I have is Isaiah or Isaiah, which is the Greek form of Isaiah, which, of course, means salvation of God. So in the Bible, Isaiah is referred to as Isaiah or Isaiah in the New Testament. And this name is used quite often in South and Central American countries with the Isaiah pronunciation. This was ranked at 547 in the year 2014 and has been in the top 1,000 boy names since 1980. Of course, I think it would make a great Isaiah alternative because they're only one letter apart in their spelling and pronunciation. My next Isaiah alternative I have is Hosea, which is a Hebrew name meaning salvation. So Hosea is a book and the name of an Old Testament prophet in the Bible. This name can also be spelled and pronounced Hosea or just Oshea, which is actually the name of one of my husband's cousins, O'Shea, and he goes by Shea as a nickname. Josea Chanchez is the name of an actor who is from the show The Game, and Josea Williams was a civil rights activist alongside Martin Luther King Jr., so that could be a very positive association for someone. Hosea was in the top 1,000 boy names until 1963 and has somehow not been in there since then. I think Hosea is an absolutely gorgeous name, and it is one that I would absolutely use if I didn't already have so many H names I planned on using. <laughs> of course, I think someone that likes Isaiah might like Hosea because of that super similar ending sound. And my last Isaiah alternative I have is Isandro or Isandro. This is a Spanish name that means equal man, and it is super rare outside of Spanish-speaking countries, so I really couldn't find too many associations with it. So maybe your child can be the association for the name Isandro. 
and I think it would make a great Isaiah alternative because they both have that same ISA starting sound. And number 47 in the year 2014 was the name Julian, which is the English form of Julius, which means downy bearded. I have a really incredible personal association with this name that I probably shouldn't share on YouTube, but I do want to mention that in high school, before I looked too much at popularity of names, that Julian Henry was one of my combinations on my extended boy name list, and I still think that's a really handsome combination. Actor Julian Morris played Prince Philip from the Once Upon a Time TV show, and Julian Lennon was, of course, the son of John Lennon and Yoko Ono. I do think, again, like the last couple of names, that Julian is one of those names people don't realize how popular it is because it just seems different. It was not a name that was popular, you know, 20 years ago. And this name can also be spelled J-U-L-I-E-N, which would be the French spelling. This has been in the top 100 boy names since 2000 and has always been in the top 400 boy names in the U.S. and is rising in popularity. And for good reason, it is a gorgeous name. My first Julian alternative I have is Julius, which is a Roman name meaning dowdy bearded again. Most people are going to associate this with Julius Caesar, which is totally fine. Very strong association. And another association people have with this name is Orange Julius, which is a company that makes smoothies. And I think because of that association, a lot of guys tend to like this name. I can't tell you how many guys I've run across that are dads right now that spent a lot of their childhood getting orange drinks with their friends from Orange Julius. This name was ranked at 309 in 2014 and is going up in popularity and has always been in the top 1,000 boy names in the U.S. This was actually in the top 100 boy names for several years in the late 1800s and early 1900s. It is definitely due for a comeback and I think people are starting to realize how great of a name it is since it's all the way up in the 300s. My next Julian alternative I have is Jules, which is the French form of Julius, meaning downy bearded again. Oh, I love this name so much. This can also be pronounced Jules. Most people are going to associate this with Jules Verne, the author of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Samuel L. Jackson played a Jules Winfield in the movie Pulp Fiction. I think a lot of people associate that with him as well. And this was in the top 1,000 boy names all the way through 1961 and has not been since then. So like many of the other names I mentioned, this is totally ready for a comeback. And I think someone who likes Julian might like Jules for its similar sound. And a lot of times Jules is used as a nickname for Julian. I adore this name. And my last Julian alternative, ah, oh, this name is so cool, is Julian. Julian is an English medieval form of Julian, meaning downy bearded again. Oh, I love this name so much. Julian is the name of one of the characters from the Foresight Saga novels written by John Gallusworthy. And there is a British race car driver named Julian Carlisle Palmer. How cool of a name is that? This name is super, super uncommon in 2015, and I would just die if I met a Julian. I think this is one of the coolest names ever. <laughs> and I think someone who likes Julian might like Julian because it has a super similar sound and the same meaning in origin. And Joel would be a very accessible nickname for Julian. And the last name for this video at 46 in the year 2014 was Jackson with this spelling, which is just a unique quote unquote spelling of Jackson, J-A-C-K-S-O-N, which means son of Jack. So I do think that Jackson with this spelling is getting so popular for two reasons. One, I think people are starting to realize that Jackson is extremely popular and they think, okay, I'll just switch the spelling of it so that there won't have to be two Jacksons with the J-A-C-K-S-O-N spelling in the classroom, which doesn't really make a difference because when you call out their name, it still sounds the same. And the other reason I think Jackson with the spelling is being used so much is because Jack is also very popular and people don't want their child to be called Jack. And so they think, well, Jax would be a good nickname instead of just Jack. And so I'll spell it J-A-X. Kristen Cavallari named her son Jackson with this spelling, and this entered the top 1,000 in 1997 and has been in the top 100 boy names since 2010. The first Jackson alternative I have is Ajax, which is a Greek name that means earth or land. Ajax was the name of a courageous war hero in the Iliad, which I think is a super wonderful association, but it is otherwise very rare in 2015, and I think someone who likes Jackson might like Ajax because they both have that Jax nickname option. And my next Jackson alternative I have is Jasper, which is an English name that means treasure, or of course refers to the Jasper gemstone, which is of course a wonderful associ association as well. A lot of people are going to associate this name with Twilight, which is okay because Jasper is a very good character in that series. Jasper is also thought to be one of the names of the three wise men who went and visited baby Jesus after his birth, so that's a beautiful association. Jasper goes in and out of my top combinations as a middle name. The reason it doesn't stay there is because I do have relatives that love the name Jasper, and they don't like as many names as me, so I kind of feel like they should have dibs on it, but I love this name because there is a beautiful, beautiful verse in Revelation in the Bible that compares heaven to a Jasper stone, which is just incredible to me. People might also associate this with 101 Dalmatians because Jasper and Horace are the names of the two little funny vi villains from the 
that movie. This was at 218 in 2014 and has always been in the top 1,000 point names in the U.S. I think that Jackson lovers might like Jasper because they're both two syllables and have that similar beginning sound. And my last alternative I have for Jackson is Axton, which is an English name that means Axe Town. There was a late singer named Hoyt Axton, and Axton is one of the main characters from the video game Borderlands 2, so you might recognize it from that. This was ranked at 761 in 2014, it just entered in 2012 for the first time, so it's only been in the top 1,000 boy names for three years. But I think people are realizing that it fits in with several trends, like X in the middle, names ending in T-O-N, etc. I think that Jackson lovers might like Axton because they're both two syllables, and they have that ax sound in it. Thank you again so much for watching, everyone. I'm very excited to get this number 11 video out, and hopefully number 12 will be out as well. Please let me know what your favorite alternatives were of the ones that I listed in this video, and any other alternatives that you love for these names that I didn't mention, and have a great day. Bye.